Meta trains are super popular right now and they give you an insane amount of gold because of the festival four winds. All the materials that come out of the meta trains will give you a lot of gold. So much that even Teapot is actually, and uh, we both together made a little bit of a meta train that is 40 gold per hour. And his last latest uh, Zero to Hero video, he uh, actually used it and he was actually pretty, pretty good. So in this video, we're going to talk about how you can make your own meta train with this huge, based, awesome uh, meta planner that a uh, very good developer that Teapot was able to contact did. Subscribe to the channel for more this. Go to my coffee if you want to support me. Let's get into it. So here is the tool. And as you can see here, it's essentially every meta in the game. Uh, in on to, from left to right from different or each of the maps in the game and of course also on the left side you can see timers of each of them so you can just come here go to add route and create your own meta train just by adding this in the ones that you want you can just go from time you know like this one and then now go for this one and then you can see it on the right filling up very very easily right and it's super super fun to use and super super easy and even if you don't know a lot of our meta trains uh, you can just use this, it'll tell you the amount of time that it takes for you to do this meta, the average, the minimum, the average, and the maximum, and you can change this number in case that you actually have more knowledge on how long it's going to be for you. Uh, so it's actually very good. You can also have, as you can see here, the, um, you know, uh, add specific private metas that you can spawn at any moment, and you can also put the default estimate on minimum, average, or maximum for whatever you actually uh, prefer. So this way, you're going to have every thing you need to make your own meta train and command it and have a lot of fun and you know make it chill and very much as well of course thank you so much for the person who actually did this uh mr uh stormalize that did this po uh this tool uh people contacted them from twitch uh, I think he asked for someone to do this tool and he obviously went in here and did it and absolutely super super fast It's an awesome tool and we're actually working to do it uh, to use it better So if you have any questions or any things that you think could be better in this tool Just tell me in the comments and uh, I can contact them and we can make it a bit better for sure for you now How does this work I'm gonna make two better trains? That diverge at some point we're both gonna start with uh the quarrel, for example, uh, we're going to put it on both sides by pressing here and then we can continue and try and do a little bit of a divergence so you can see how this works. Now, at this point, we are at this part right here. You can see that we need a meta for uh, for this to feed in here, right? Now, we could go for night bosses, but we know that night bosses can be from here till the end, uh, to um, 2030. So, uh, to the 30 hour mark, uh, 30 minute mark. So, let's just see if we can get something else. For example, we could put casino, but casino actually starts a bit earlier than... Uh, but the quarrel ends, so we can't really do that one. Instead, let's go for, for example, this is not the most, you know, most insanely good profitable uh, meta ever, but you can do effigy, for example, here. Uh, but let's say that in the other one, let's create something like a private, um, a private um, meta, actually. We can go, for example, for uh, Dragonstorm. We can go here to this side on add schedule meta event and put Dragonstorm. Boom. And we're going to put it at time, exec, at APM. Uh, 20 actually no let's put it at 8 p.m. 10 minutes which is essentially when uh, the quarrel ends in here right there look at that you can see that perfect either lasts around 10 minutes now of course 10 minute drone storm is actually pretty pretty uh, what is the word ambitious uh, but for the purposes of this we're gonna use it here just because uh, we want to create it as uh, at the same time as effigy now you can actually change the estimated time that will last you can make it for example here as in in drone storm you can put like it's 50 minutes instead in case you know that you're gonna actually take longer or you can even m make it smaller if you think like you're gonna be absolutely blasting it in five minutes that would never happen but you can actually decide to do this for yourself if you want to right which is actually pretty cool um now for the next one we're just gonna go for something else now we're gonna go for uh we can see that anomaly ex starts at the exact same time that fg ends so we're gonna have it here and then for uh, here, we can have anomaly for drone storm as well. Now, of course, as I said before, this is very ambitious. Uh, you can get late. You can get a bit late to anomaly, so it's not that big of a deal. Uh, but we can do it as an optional thing. Let's say that you don't do drone storm. Uh, you know, you don't make it to anomaly. You can just skip that one and do something else. And in this case, with something else we're gonna do is gonna be night bosses. Now, night bosses is kind of weird because night bosses actually um, uh, can happen from exact ten uh, till uh, the thirty minute mark. So in this case, we're going to make the offset set a bit bigger. So we can actually move it a little bit to this point, right? To XX20, just after Anomaly, right? I think that's what we're going to do. 
Actually, we're gonna make the offset a little bit in between because normally it doesn't really last that long. We're actually gonna, yeah, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna put the estimated time on anomaly on two minutes. Uh, and anomaly here, two minutes as well. And then we're gonna put nine bosses here. Actually, let's put five minutes. There we go. Just in case. And then uh, we're gonna put the offset a bit on the. A bit closer like that, and we're gonna know, and we know that night bosses actually doesn't take that long, so we're gonna put it five minutes. So we do anomaly into night bosses, perfect. Now we're gonna put night bosses here on this other side as well. Put the offset at fifteen, just like the other one, and then put SM at ten on five. And there you go. We have from here the first thirty minutes of the meta train perfectly aligned. Uh, because of this is kind of bugging out, I'm mean, not bugging out, but we're putting the offset a bit earlier. It will give you a little bit of a, I mean, a little bit. Uh, the offset a little bit later it's gonna give you this warning but if you know what you're doing this is not should not be an issue now in this case we can go for something else we are at xx30 we have a lot of possibilities here <coughs> we can actually do uh for example jack or gang war i don't think Chak would be a good idea here as we're doing that bosses as well oh, actually a check could be a good idea i uh, would have to be very fast but it's actually kind of doable uh but then again and only into night bosses into check is kind of it is indeed kind of uh, ambitious. So let's just do Gang War instead. Um, yeah, let's do Gang War. Let's go to the right side. There it is, Gang War. And then, perfect. And we're gonna... Well, no. Let's do Gang War on one side and something else on the other side. Yeah, perfect. Uh, now, Gang War usually does take around 20 to 25 minutes. It's actually very good. And in the other one, I'm gonna do something else. I'm gonna put in... Let's see. Junoon the Rising. That's something that nobody ever does. Boom. There we go. And that ends at around XX45. So we can put actually something else at XX45 um, um, on the Gyrons 2 version. So what can we put in? Doomler Shrine would not work. Oil Flows. We could do Oil Flows. Now, Oil Flows is not very really that good. But for the purposes of this, um, of this meta, we can do this. And then, you know, let's do Octavine on Gyrons 1. And add for the top of the hour, and maybe Skywatch for the legendary, uh, yeah, for the legendary obsidian armor on this side. Actually, oh, there we go. Perfect, on this side, perfect. Now, after Octavine, we're gonna have a little bit more time here on this side, uh, that we're gonna have to compare to the uh, Archipelago one, right? We have a little bit of moments here, so let's go for Drakkar. That's a good one. Uh, Drakkar, I know that exists right here, perfect, yes. Put it right there. Uh, perfect. It actually is overlapping for some reason. I guess we're going to have to change the estimated time on Octavine. Well, no, no, no. Actually, no. This is fine. This is fine. What we're going to do is... The car can start at, um, at 5 minutes after the top of the hour. But you can actually make the offset a bit bigger. Like this. So it ends. So it starts exactly where Octavine ends. And then estimated time. Just make it at 20 minutes. Perfect. So it ends at the 30 minute mark. Now, after this... Um, I'm looking the Wizard's Tower, it can actually take a bit earlier, uh, you know, you have a little bit of time here to spare, but there's really nothing to put in on this spot, so we can have a little bit of break right here, right here. So let's go for Edelbear right here, uh, on these, on this one in particular, and what else could we have on the other side? On the 30 minute mark, on a look in the uh, Wizard's Tower, something interesting, something different. What could it be? I mean, we can actually have the same one. We can just have at the... Oh, no, wait, there we go. Convergence Public, perfect. Something different from both. And then we have... Uh, we have... we. This one ends 10 minutes before the hour. This is perfect, actually, because we can both get a Doppelganger, as usually there's a map, um, perfectly at that time. Do that on both of the events. Uh, this will last only 5 minutes, not 10. So we can just go blasting there. And then at the end, on the top of the hour, on the next hour, we can go. Oh, let's go for cannon blackout on this side, even though I hate that meta. And defense of Amethyst on this one. Oh, but actually, defense of Amethyst is a bit of a tricky one because def defense of Amethyst actually starts ten minutes before the actual top of the hour. If you want to get a, a, an actual map, so let's actually put the offset in. Now, uh, actually, we can't actually put the offset ne a negative offset here. So what we're gonna do instead is we're just gonna leave it here. We know that you actually require a bit less more time to get into Amethyst, but that's okay. Uh, we have time after Edelblea, so it should be fine. Now, and we're definitely gonna, I'm gonna talk to them so we can actually get negative offsets. So don't worry about it. This should be fixed for whenever this gets released anyways. Now, after this, in Defense of Amethyst, we actually require a bit of time here. We have a little bit of an empty spot, so we can do check. We did not do check on this one. Honestly, I get idea. Or we can do Drown Storm. Uh, no, let's go check. We don't have enough time for Drown Storm. Uh, check, Grand. Perfect. Look at that. Boom. There it is. And then after check, we can go for the Drown Storm. That's actually a good idea. On this side, on Darren's number one. 
Perfect. Dragon Storm. Let's put 50 minutes because we're probably gonna take a bit more time on this one. Uh, and let's end it with Dragon's End. A perfect event to end the meta train with because everybody needs it and requires a good amount of time. Uh, after Cannon Blackout, we could have something here. Uh, oh, actually, we can end. It. We can have something here. Doomlor Shrine is a great idea. Uh, Doomlor Shrine, Doomlor Shrine is very fast. It's very chill, and you can use this time to get more people for Dragon's End and start on their st uh, start. Um, Start putting in some uh, some of the gamers into the subgroups and everything, and set everything up. And there you go. You have fi just finished your beautiful meta train with just this tool. Of course, I have done a lot of knowledge out of metas, but with this tool, all of the knowledge should be available to you. As I said before, we're gonna get a new uh, meta train guide on every meta in the game, and you're gonna be able to uh, use that. And hopefully, the both of these tools will make you be able to make your meta train however you want it, and also be very very chill with it. But Thank you very much for watching, guys. Tell me if there's anything you need out of this uh, out of this tool that could be changed, that would be easier for you. And uh, yeah, there you go. Thank you very much for watching, guys. Go to my coffee if you want to support me. Go to my Twitch to watch me live. See you guys around. Love you all. Love you all. Bye. Bye.